everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and I am going to take you to an amazing estate sale where I found lots of wonderful <laughs> That's cool. Smaller than I thought. <laughs> That's a quilt. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, pretty fabric. I have so much fabric. With all the fun calicos. Pieces, I think. Five dollars for the box. Well, that's kind of cute. They make. Oops. They might make cute little pillows. Are neat. What are they? The box is fifteen. I don't know what those are, but those are cool. And fabric. Ohio State. 
tape jacket. This one too. We have a little ridiculous price. The very few things where we priced the top of the yeah, margin. Yeah, it's all real reasonable. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, sir. There you go. Uh, you can just, uh, he's going right back out. There you go. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. Thank you for coming. Have a good one. doesn't have a price on it. Um, about 10 for the whole box. in the paperbacks are a dollar, hardcovers are two dollars. Thank you. No problem. Get out of your way. Yeah, it's not a very yeah wide wide. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Those are fun. G night dishes.
that that comes with all the stuff in it. I think that's a good deal if it comes with all the stuff in it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah. 50 cents each. These are fun for a sandwich. Look at the little chickies. Yeah. And a little bunny. Cute little babies. Yep, here I Baby. Ooh, that's a lot of shopping. All right. You gotta work out. <laughs> like that little baby, too. Uh-uh. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I did I tried. I did a few hours to get in there. Oh, have a good one. All right. Okay, right behind you. Are they? Are they all gone? Okay. Can't do that. What were they? I have this one. Yep. Yep. It's cute. Alright. Is it a bag? Thank you. 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 Oh, oh, well, well, yeah, yeah, well. So, is there an upstairs? No. Yeah. 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 This floor and then uh, downstairs. Yeah. 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 yeah, I want these, uh, mm -hmm. some things in here, but I didn't go shop in there. Okay. So, this here for you? Yeah. It's so realistic. Okay. I don't think these are hers. These were not yours, correct? No, they're the wife from the green coat. Yeah, but he's got them written on there. Oh, Pierre, he has them written on it. Okay. okay. Well, actually, um, I had two of those. Sorry, this, yes, sir. I think you um, can don't be calling. But I only wanted to pay that. Okay. 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 I can't go lower anything today, so do you want to put okay. one back? I don't want any of them like that. Okay. So I'll cross them out. Oh, these back? Where are these back? Just, Just anywhere. Set it down. I'll set it. How much do they have on these? Okay. No. Uh, three. I don't see one on there. Two or at least two or five. Okay. Uh, so I'll cross that out. Those are the bottom two. Okay. Just look at that. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I got one. Three or three. All right, so the out-of-state sale was fabulous. Um, you saw me talk about it during Vlogmas a little bit, and of course I am filming <laughs> during the Christmas season. I'm not sure when you'll see this. Um, but I picked up some wonderful, wonderful items at that sale, lots of them. I spent $210 there, so I want to share with you what I got. 
I don't know the prices of everything that I picked up individually anyway, um, but if I do know them, I will try to let you know uh, what they were. So one of the first things that I picked up um, was this deer planter. Um, deer are very, very popular right now, and so anytime I find one that's in you know pretty good condition, I will grab it. This one is an American bisque um, planter. There are no chips, but there is what I think is a hairline crack. And I say I think because um, there's a lot of crazing in, in larger lines in the bottom. I think it's a hairline, and I think that it is uh, because it, you can see it up at the top there too. Um, but it does not change the appearance of this, and it does not alter it structurally. So it's a great piece, and I'm glad I got it, and it was $5. I can expect to get anywhere from $15 to $20 for this, maybe more, depending on where I bring it. This little guy I got because he was cute, because I liked him, and um, because he, you know, I can put him out for Easter. But look at this, you guys. This is a bunny squeak toy. Now, he still squeaks. He's still soft. I'm going to squeak him now. Um, but he does appear to be a little uh caved in in the back i think i don't know i'm assuming that that's what that is but he's just really really adorable and i think he would be the perfect addition to a collection for easter or of squeak toys or whatever love him i think he was maybe three or four dollars if i'm not mistaken again i'm not going to be able to tell you the prices on everything now, these guys actually did have a price tag on them, so I picked these little squirrel salt and pepper shakers up for $2, and they will probably sell right around $10, so I was really happy to grab them. They are in good condition. Now, these next items, I don't know how much I paid for them. <laughs> I, I really don't. Um, the prices are all over the place at this sale. Uh, it was, as I mentioned before, I'm sure it was an antique collector's estate sale, and so there were some items that were antiques that they had, you know, researched or the, you know, I don't know what the situation was. It could be that the dealer was actually still alive and just downsizing. Anyway, those things had retail prices on them. I think they were good retail prices. Sometimes I go to sales and I think they're higher than retail prices. I think they were good retail prices. Um, but certainly not something that I was able to pick up for resale. But these guys were down there, and I thought I would give them a try. I didn't think they could possibly be too much, um, as I think they're they're vintage, but I think that they're probably um, from the 80s. This is a styrofoam base to this little Santa. He's a little cupcake, and he has friends, and I thought that was just the coolest thing ever. This little guy's a clown. <laughs> Look at him. I just love them, and that's the bottom. There is some sort of a marking on them. Oh no, that's just a that's just a styrofoam thing. And then this guy is a little, um, you know, like a toy soldier or something. Just adorable. They are in really good condition, very good condition. But the head of this guy does come off of his little thing, um, but you know, it doesn't mar him. You just have to make sure you stick them on there. You can always glue them on there, <laughs> I guess. Right? It's cute. I got him. This guy is kitschy, and I am always on kitsch patrol. Now, he or she probably had something attached to the neck there, some sort of a sticker. The eyes are stickers also. Um, but I did grab uh, this little thing because it was adorable. I might keep that to put into an assemblage or something. I'm actually starting to think about maybe instead of waiting until the mood hits me next year, <laughs> <laughs> to create Christmas assemblage pieces and whatever to maybe while everything's still out start in January I am going to take another art vacation in January so maybe maybe I'll do it then I picked up a set of these vintage um, Halloween die cuts and they were six dollars a little over six dollars a piece they are definitely older um, they have made reproductions but these ones are the older ones you can tell definitely tell from the back there um, that it's an older one. So there's that one. There's the pumpkin guy. And they're all in, re in very good condition. And then this one. I don't get this one a lot, and I really liked him, so I think he's probably the reason why I picked up the whole set. So, yeah, those will go away for Halloween. 
also getting put away until Halloween of next year if they don't migrate to my collection <laughs> are these guys look at these guys these are vintage Halloween skeletons they are the articulated ones um, they are in really good condition for their age of course their necks are bent that's I mean I don't think I've ever come across one that doesn't have a bent neck um, but other than that really really good condition so those were really cute and they're the right size for me that's why i'm saying i don't know if they'll migrate to to my collection or not because i like little things all right i saw this and i was not leaving it there oh my gosh johnny's space trip isn't this fabulous look at this look at the back of this this is a little owl book it's from 1953 for 1954 um oh my gosh so cool and it was he builds a little spaceship in his backyard he's shooting off into the stars i mean the illustrations on this are fabulous the cover is amazing and guys this was back when pluto was a planet <laughs> i mean that's messed up yeah, very, very, very fun book. Look at the illust look at that cover illustration. So cool. I love this. I grabbed that. Okay, this is just too cute. And I try as I try really hard to stay away from games, you guys, because I am attracted to them for so many reasons. Um, but they don't go well for me. <laughs> so these had a couple of things that allowed me to go ahead and pick it up because if I never get rid of it, it can stay with me and I'll be happy. First of all, I have no idea what the, what the rules sheet I think is in here, but look at the cards. So these are really cool little um, word, you know, little phrases and whatever on here. And I thought even if I, you know, needed to use this someday in junk journaling or whatever, I thought that would be cool. How, Pil How Silas Popped the Question, a reading game, published by Parker Brothers. I don't see a date on here. Maybe this would be something fun to do on camera sometime. But look at the box. I'll show you the box again. Isn't that cool? I love that. Very cool. That would be fun. That, that may be something that I will do on, on camera. Fun, fun, fun. All right, I also grabbed this, and I'm not sure. They may have even just thrown it in because I said, I have a gutted book, pieces, parts of a book. Um, it's called In the Woods. I liked the illustration on the front, and I just simply liked the fact that it was falling apart because we've talked about this before. I like to use this kind of stuff in artwork. And um, I don't like to take apart something that's in good condition. They had quite a few restaurant creamers there, or creamers in general. This is probably the nicest one. I don't know in my estimation, but I don't collect them. Um, it is a Hall creamer. Very adorable, so I was happy to grab that. Then there's this one, and this is a Mayer. I think it said Mayer. Yeah, Mayor China. Look at how cute that is. This one is unmarked. And then here's another big one, and I grabbed this one, first of all, because it's got a really pretty print on it, and second of all, because it is Syracuse China. And I have heard that name before for restaurant wear, but look at how pretty the flower is on that. Gorgeous. And they're all in great condition, no problems at all with those. And grab this little Christmas ornament. Look at him, he's adorable. He's, he is a spun head. These guys I think are a little newer. They're definitely vintage, but um, they're little candle huggers. Okay, there she goes. Look at how fun they are. So I grabbed those. I picked this up. This is another item that I will keep until Halloween of next year because of the orange and black motif. Um, this beautiful typewriter tin. And it is filled with fun little old um, paper clips and things. This is fabulous. This is an artisan's created. It's a wild cherry spoon. It does not copyright Jonathan Simmons. But these little um, spatulas are so fun. These are fun to like give with a nice uh, gift of artisan jellies or jams or something like that. I'll probably keep this for a gift. Guys, I thought this was so cool. This is a wood-turned item on a lathe. 
my dad used to do this. Um, and what they would have done is they would have laid this out and made this around, you know, they would have carved this or whatever around this as they were making it. In other words, it wasn't glued back together. It was one piece thing. It's really cool. Um, this is made from, and I did look it up, the, it was made from the Harry Davis apple tree. That's what it says on the bottom. I'll show you in a second. By Rob, I can't read his name, 2003. Isn't that fun? I just love that. I hope it focuses on there. If it doesn't, sorry. <laughs> I picked up some smalls. Um, I'm getting ready to open my studio and I know I'll forget to film up close. So hopefully you guys can see. I've got this little duck. He was ceramic. I've got this little rabbit. That's plastic. That's going to stay with me. And our little ducky has two itty bitty teeny tiny baby ducks look at how small they are again those are going to stay with me picked up these cute little um well, stop that these cute little duck brooches isn't that fun i'm starting to you know populate my supply more for the springtime holidays i love enamel brooches um yeah, so I grab them when I can. This is a beautiful daisy brooch from the 1950s. It has that lovely 1950s uh, V clasp in the back. This is so pretty. This would be beautiful in some sort of artwork. Um, I'm not getting out of them the value that actually exists when I try to sell them. <clears throat> so you may hang on to them um, and use it in some sort of artwork. Here's another beautiful 1950s enamelware brooch. Look at how gorgeous that is. It also has the V clasp on the back, which, oh, the whole flower turned. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cool? I picked up a new in the package vintage Halloween Casper the Friendly Ghost puzzle. Um, I only paid a couple bucks for this, so I'm really happy to have this. It is going to go, it's going to be put away for Halloween next year. Um, but yeah, new in the package. Yeah, good deal. The lady that was working the sale was actually expressed her gratitude to me that I was interested in these things. <laughs> but when I asked her how much they were, I couldn't leave them there. So she had a whole bin of these adorable, kitschy, cute cards. And, you know, I have gotten them before for, you know, 25 cents or whatever a piece, but she was asking to for a dollar and um, I was happy to pay them. I will separate these out because Valentine's Day is coming soon and they have a lot of really cute Valentine's Day cards. Of course, they have some cute Christmas cards too. You may have already seen them in a sale. Look at that. This little dachshund card. Isn't that adorable? I'm not going to show them all to you because it'll, you know, it'll be way too much. But look at that. Um, <clears throat> adorable. Absolutely adorable. Really, really cute. What comes next are the linens. And I hope you guys like linens. And I hope you stay with me because I have a lot of them and they're amazing. If you don't like linens, just skip to the end. Um, you'll want to do that. All right, guys. So I pick up unusual things when I pick up linens. If I see stuff like this, I'm going to grab it all day long. I will use this in some sort of an artwork, in a journal, in a, you know, maybe I'll make a pillow collage out of it. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it wasn't going to stay there. I was grabbing that. I grabbed a whole bunch of... Um, these are fingertip towels. Look at the colors on these. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Now, some of these are going to stay with me um, because I like the feel of these types of linen tea towels. Um, but a lot of them, I don't know, maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll sell. Let's just put it that way, um, what I will make. But they are in good condition. There may be a few small spots or something on them. I don't know, but look at this. Now, this one actually may be more of a this one may be more of like a table runner. It's a little bit longer and it's a little bit thicker. So it might be a table runner. But this one definitely feels like a towel. So I was really excited to find all of these linens because, you know, um, 
I go crazy with Christmas and I buy everything I can that's Christmas but we are you'll probably see this after Christmas actually but we're coming to the end of the Christmas season so I have to start stocking and thinking about the spring um, and so definitely you know these types of things fit that bill and some of them are definitely you know more spring like than others now I did notice there's a, a small um, there's a small little hole on this one but this is cute and it feels good. It's in good condition. Oh, these ones, these plain ones, these are definitely going home with me. These, these plain towels, the floral ones might, the floral ones might stay here for sale. Oh, look at this one, you guys. This one's going to stay here and come out for Easter and my springtime shop um, display. So you'll see it again. It'll be for sale, but once I do my spring stuff. These things I've been collecting because I plan to do a project with them, the ones that have the rounded edges on them that aren't too big. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was happy to grab that. I think this is a towel. Um, it has the feel of a towel. It could be a table runner. I don't know. All right, now we're getting to all of the amazing tablecloths that I picked up and I mentioned that I was really happy to come across the linens in part because guys I don't find them very often and um, I happen to go on the first day which I never do it was because it was the only day that was available to me and I told you that the prices were all over the place some things were definitely spot on retail but these linens these were priced where I can resell them so I was really happy about that and I picked up how many did I pick up 18 tablecloths. I'll go through them fast just to show you the pattern. Very, very cool tablecloths. So this is, I got this one. Many of these are the square size, the ones that you can um, either put on a card table or you can put in the center of a longer tablecloth and turn it to the side. Um, so I have to, I don't know exactly what the pricing is gonna be on these yet. Some of them are longer you know, for a larger table. I hate when you do that. I picked up a variety of colors so that um, I wasn't just getting things that I liked. <laughs> that tends to be, to be the norm with me. So I picked up a whole bunch of different things. Pretty. This one is gorgeous. This would be pretty to cross over into July 4th because of the pink and red, I think. And like I said, many of these, they are vintage linens, so they, there are going to be some marks and things on them, but they are very minimal. And when I was looking at them there at the estate sale, I did not see, um, I really didn't notice any holes or anything on them, but of course, before I sell them, I'll look more carefully. And I'm surprised about this one. They gave this one to me. This is definitely vintage, and they gave this to me at the same price that they had all of the other ones while they had vintage Christmas ones in the living room, price much higher, price retail. This one does have, um, this one does have more staining on it. You'll see maybe on this side. <clears throat> so maybe that's why, I don't know. Um, I haven't tried to treat it. I don't know if I will, but it's entirely possible that all of that can come out. So I thought that was a really good get. There's this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this one has a little boo-boo on there. I will try to wash that and see if that'll come off. It seems to be on the surface, um, but this one was kind of neat. I liked the colors on that one a lot. Here's this one. Look at these poppies. Aren't those gorgeous? At least I think that's what that flower is so pretty. There's this one. I really like the feel of this one. Look at the pattern on it too. Isn't that pretty? But the feel of the linen is really soft and nice. I like it. Look at this one. I really love the pattern on this as well. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, here you can see. Like that. 
It's corn. This one will be beautiful for Valentine's Day. Then there's this one. And this one. So I did really well at that estate sale. I was very happy to go. Even though it was the first day, I actually, I think I got some good deals. So that was a really, really cool thing. If you like this sort of content, you guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And as always, please leave a comment. Even punctuation or an emoji is helpful to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to see me Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern for my live sales here on this channel. And don't forget my Instagram shop as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.